obstacles and overcoming them and getting used to doing it, I feel like it gets easier for people because a lot of times there'll be a block. Like you start trying to start a business, your first roadblock comes, like whatever it is. Uh, oh, I don't have any money to buy a machine or I don't have any connections. Like, yeah, you got to get over it and you just got to keep getting over them every time. And that's the thing I love about entrepreneurship, man. It's fun. And it gives you like, I think it's fun, but I also think that there is something to it that makes you like happier. Like it always gives you something to like fight for. I mean, we're like biologically wired as humans to, uh, to like have to live for something or like go find our food in the, in the forest or kill a deer to eat food. You know, like that's like what our ancestors had to do. And like that, like is in our bones. So like we're sitting around doing nothing. Sometimes I say, I feel bad for somebody who's born with like a super rich dad and they've had everything handed to them. All of a sudden they're 17, 18. They've never had any obstacles. And now they're like unhappy with their life. And maybe those might be the people who start like doing pills or like going down a bad stretch. And I mean, it sounds dumb to say you feel bad for someone who's born into richness, but on some level I kind of do because obstacles are a good thing. And like, I have always kind of tried to for my mind to be like obstacles are good and I feel like that keeps me like energetic and happy and always like excited to go to the next thing because they're inevitable, especially if you want to do big things. So yeah, 